And what I really like about these six options is that you do not have to write a complicated text. The text is very easy and you do not need much additional text. So you can do this with a few clicks and this is not intensive. The next three options I show you need more decks and are more intensive to write, but I think they're also great. Today, I want to show you nine awesome ways how you can show the comparison of the actual year against the past year. This is something you will need in mostly all of your reports. And there are so many awesome ways how to show that. Before we can do that, you can download the file on my GitHub. The link will be in the video description. If you have downloaded the file already, let's jump into Power BI and follow along what I am building with you. So here we are in Power BI and I will show you how you can build out these nine versions. And we will start with the most easy version you can have. So in this case, we have a clustered column chart. We have the month short. We have the sum of the revenue of this year per month and we have the past year revenue target. And then I have added a title. And in the title, you can see that the main title is revenue per month and the subtitle is compared to past year. And you can give it a color you like. I chose this lila color and the gray for the past year. So this is our starting point. And the first thing we will do is we will copy this by Ctrl C, Ctrl V and move it over here. And we will delete the past year revenue because we do not need it. And then you can see immediately it changes color. So we will go back to the columns and adjust the color back to this original color. The first thing I want to show you is how you can use the error bars. And for the error bars, we have two measures, I think. We have a lower bound that is zero and the upper bound will be the past year. So we will go down to the error bars, open the menu, choose the sum revenue and enable the error bars. And then you need to choose a field and the upper bound will be the past year revenue and the lower bound will be the zero. We will go to bar, make it to 10. The width go to the border color, give it also that gray both of them. And now you can see here already the past year comparison, but we have to drag in the other measure because I increased the past year revenue a little bit to show you a case where also the target is not reached. And so there is a second measure in my report. And this measure is called target, the revenue target. So this is the right one. And now you can see the same bars like you could see here. So this was possibility number one. Then we go, we'll copy this command C, command V, and I will show you the third possibility. And the third is easy because we already have in this error bars. And what we will do now is we will change the lower bound to the past year target. So we will drag in two times the same measure. And you can see you go back to only have the markers and you can increase the marker size. And you can also change the markers to a dot. But I like this very much. And one fun fact I can show you. If the lower bar and the upper bar is the same and you choose this triangle, you will get stars. So maybe you can need this sometimes. But for now, we will leave it like that. Then we will go back to the second, copy it over again, drag it over here. And we will just remove in the arrow bars the lower bound and see what's happening. By removing the lower bound, you will only see the differences, uh, which is already pretty cool. And what we will add here now is a conditional formatting for the main columns. And this conditional formatting should be here under the conditional formatting for the sum of the revenue. So in this measure, we will check if the sum of the revenue is smaller than the revenue target, then it will be the color below, which is an orange in my case. And if it is over the target, it will be the color above. And we will drag this in, in here and see what's happening. So we have to go to the columns, go to the FX, go to the field value and put in the conditional formatting. And now you can see that the column 
where the target was not reached and the error bar is above the line is orange and the other ones are gray. But you can also see here is that the labels of the columns are very close to the error bar, which I do not like. So I often choose this chart type and drag in the line. And for this, I have created a measure and the measure is checking the maximum of the sum of the revenue of this year and the previous year target. So the data labels will always be outside and we will drag this in for the lines. Go to the lines and put the transparency of the line to 100%. So the line is gone. Then we go back to the, or go down to the data labels. For the sum of the revenue, we will turn them off. For the data levels, we will turn them on. And for the values, we will choose a black. And so, and we will put them above. And now you can see that all your data labels are outside and over parsed and actual year. So they will always be readable. Then I will show you the next version. So we will copy over this one. The first one, Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, copy it over here. And the first thing we will do is we will change the type again to the, to the clustered column chart with a line. We will drag in again the data labels for the line axis. Go to the data label settings or to the line settings first. Put in, set transparency to 100 so that the line is gone again. Go to the data labels and put them off for the past year for the sum of the revenue and only keep them for the line position above color black. So now we can read the data labels. The second, what we will do is we will go to the columns, put the series to all, go to layout and go to space between series will be 100 and we will go to the colors the past year revenue target will be gray and now you can see that in cases where the target is not reached there is a gray column or a gray area above the column which i like very much because now you can see that this is not completely full but what you can't see now is where the target was. And to correct this, we will add these error bars. So you go down to the error bars, choose the sum revenue, enable the options. The upper bound will be the past year target and the lower bound also. And now you can go to the markers and make them bigger. Border, I will turn off in this case. And the color I will set to a lighter gray. And what is pretty cool now, you can see here the column filling up, which I like really a lot from the visual look. And you can also see where the target was. So you also get the feeling for the columns, um, if they're full or not. So the next thing we will do is we will copy this over and I will just choose, um, another color for the past year because I want to have this in an orange because it should be more visible for the user than the arrow bars. So I go back to the columns and choose for this series the orange. And now you can see that there is an orange and it is immediately visible that this is not good. So this is the sixth option. And what I really like about these six options is that you do not have to write a complicated text. The text is very easy and you do not need much additional text. So you can do this with a few clicks and this is not intensive. The next three options I show you need more text and are more intensive to write, but I think they are also great. And what we will do now for the next one, we will copy over let's say this one and we will exchange the sum of the revenue against two other measures i have two measures one above the target so it's checking if the sum of the revenue is bigger than past year's revenue target it will show the sum of the revenue and otherwise it will be blank 
And I have another measure which is below the target. So the sum of the revenue is smaller than the past year's revenue. It is shown and otherwise it is blank. So we will switch the sum of the revenue for these two measures, the above and the below. And now we will go to the settings and give them different colors. The below will be orange and the above we will keep. We will go to the data labels and we will turn it off for above and below and we will only keep it for the line. So I want to be this more like this. So I will drag in a third series, the past year's revenue target. Then we will go to the build and change it to the clustered column chart. We will go to the column settings. The past year revenue target will be gray. The above target will be the lila color and the below target will be the orange then i will go to all go to the layout enable the overlap and go here to 100 and now you can see it looks a little bit like this but you can also see here that the color is indicated with an orange so now we will go to version 7 and for version 7 we will copy this over and we will add again some arrow bars to the series where the target was hit so we will go down again to the arrow bars choose the above target enable the arrow bars the upper bound will be the past year Target. And we do not need a lower bound because we will only indicate the difference. So we will go to the bar, choose green as a color, go to here to 10. The border we will also choose the green. And we will don't need some markers. And then we will go to the data labels and we will have to turn them off here. And this is what we will keep. So this is another cool possibility how you could show the past year against the current year and now i will show you the last possibility and for the last possibility i will start here so we will i copy this over and then we will add a line here and the line here will be the past year revenue target we will turn off the data labels also for this series because we do not want it then we go to the lines. Here you can see the past year charted. We will keep the line. It will be a dashed one. The type will be midter. And the color will be, we will put this to step, reduce the width a little bit, and the color will be, yeah, a gray. And now this is also an awesome possibility how to show the comparison. So I hope you are as excited as I am about this nine possibilities, how to show the past year against the actual year. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and I hope to see you on my channel soon. So wish you a great day now and bye bye.